Hey guys, Patch 3.3 just went live, and with it came a nice little surprise for us Xbox and PC players. Crossplay is back, and not only just crossplay, but cross progression is here too. So, for those of you that didn't know, if you played on Xbox but then wanted to play on PC, you literally had to create a new account and buy another copy of the game in order to play on PC. Not anymore. Now you can log into either PC or Xbox and have all of your progress in both places. This isn't new for PS4 though, but it is for Xbox, so I'm super excited. That's awesome. But crossplay isn't super simple, but not entirely complicated either. So a buddy of mine and I tested it out during my stream this morning, shortly after the servers came back up. And sure enough, it only took a couple minutes for us to figure it out. Here is what you have to do. Okay, crossplay is now a thing. Well, it was long, long time ago for Xbox and PC. Uh, it's maintained that way for PlayStation and PC. So now that it's back active again for Xbox and PC, uh, it's not as simple as some might think. That does not mean that we're able to just pop open uh, our friends list and go find PC players. It doesn't work that way because this is the Xbox interface, Xbox friends list, um, and they are... Only existent on their uh, Epic Games launcher friends list. So they're not interchangeable that way, um, but you can jimmy rig it, if you will, to allow cross play. And what had happened was this following procedure on how you can queue up with people was already in the system, and then somebody flipped the switch and disabled the feature, um, and now you can do it again. So, how you do it. Um, for those of you that are PS4, uh, you probably already know this if you're already utilizing it. It's the same thing for Xbox, uh, but as Xbox players, uh, this is newer as of today, um, unless you were available when the game first launched, when this you could do this for the first week. So basically, in order to do it, you have to um, go to your computer. Oh, look out, PC Master Race. You have to go to a computer. You have to install the Epic Games Launcher. Um, and then from there, I don't know if you necessarily have to install Fortnite or not. That's not necessarily relevant because um, you're not booting the game up. But you have to have your account um, logged into the launcher. And then you want to go to uh, Manage Account. And then, boom, brings you to the web page here with your personal and for your payment, all of your stuff for Epic, right? Um, you want to make sure that your, whether your PlayStation or your Xbox, you want to link the two. So I've got my Xbox gamer tag or profile or account linked to my Epic Games account. Um, so remember, my Xbox gamer tag is Gumby, whereas my Epic Games name is Sly Gumby. Um, also, you can link your Twitch account. There was a time, and I think they are coming back, but they had Twitch quests. I know this is off topic, but basically a broadcaster could link their Twitch account, and then as they're playing and completing their broadcaster quest, once they finished it, it would then shoot out Twitch quests to all the viewers in chat that were um, also had their stuff linked. So you could get, it, for a while there, you could get tickets. Then they nerfed it to where you could only get mini llamas. Um, subscribers also get bonus quests as well. Um, but I think that's been that's been nerfed as well. But for it, regardless, right now it's disabled. Um, hopefully they'll they'll bring the Twitch quests back. That was a cool feature. So, anyways, once you get all this done, um, you have to make sure the next step that you, as an Xbox player, um, have who you want to play with added. So, for instance, we'll just pick on Frozen Squall here. He is a PC master race. That is it. He doesn't play on console. Um, he hangs out in chat. He and I tested this after the servers went up live this morning, and we got it to work. So basically, he's on my friends list. We had to accept each other's friend request. And then from there, let's see, is there any example that I can show you here? I don't have any. There isn't one. But basically, he can find on his friends list my name. It'll be Sly Gumby, um, and then he can click on it, and uh, there'll be a... Oh, I don't have the game booted up. There'll be a join button, and that's what they removed. There'll be a join. I can't shoot them invites. Let's go back to the game. 
I can't shoot them invites from, from the Xbox because I'm invite system on Xbox is through the Xbox app, um, which is not synced to the Epic Games Launcher. So I have to literally sit here and make sure my privacy settings is to public or friends, and then he can go to his friends list, click join, and it populates into my match. And then you can switch party lead depending. So if he's a higher level and we want to do some of his missions, I can t toss him party lead once he's in my in-game party. And then we can play. The only thing that we don't know how to do, uh, that we, we racked our brains around is PlayStation and Xbox. Since there's no, the PlayStation has their own friend system and Xbox has their own friend system, there's no way to send each other direct m invites. Um, and the only thing that just popped in my head just now that might be an option for playing with all three platforms together is if the PC player jumps into your lobby, you pass him lead, and then that person tries to join a PlayStation player. If it gives an option to bring party with, which I'm kind of thinking it won't, if it does allow him to bring party, then that's how you can bring everybody into one lobby. So the PC player has to pick who he's playing with, jump into that lobby, and then if we're able to play uh, with PlayStation and Xbox, then the PC player will then have to become party leader and migrate the whole party into the other remaining consoles lobby, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that'll work. We'll have to test that tonight. But for as far as Xbox and PC crossplay, it's back. Um, you have to have the PC, the Xbox player has to have the Epic Games launcher um, so they can go in and accept friend requests because you have to be friends through the Epic Games um, before anything. And you have to have your Xbox account linked to your Epic Games profile as well. You don't need to worry about the Twitch stuff, but I recommend doing it at the same time anyways. And then... PC players can come and go as they want through your, your lobbies. So, that's a thing. That's a thing. Also, one more thing for people that are worried about crossplay. You can go into your settings now. And if you don't want crossplay whatsoever, you can turn it off. You can turn it off. Also, I don't have a visual because I didn't pre-plan with anybody to set this demo up. Um, when you jump into a match and you have a PC player in your party, they will have a big computer monitor icon next to their life bar. So if you see that, that means that that's a PC player. Vice versa, if you're playing on PC and you're playing with console, they'll have a big game pad controller icon. Okay, so just to recap, the PC player has to join the console player's lobby, then the party leader can be switched back and forth as needed. In order for the PC player to find you on their friends list to join your game lobby, the console player needs to set up and link their Epic Games account to their Xbox or PlayStation account along with adding the PC player as an Epic Games friend. The last thing that you need to make sure you do is put your privacy settings to friends or public. I don't know how many times I leave mine on private and can't figure out why on earth I can't invite people, but um, don't be like me. I'm just stupid, so <laughs> you probably already know that. Anyway, so that's how you cross-play at the current state of the game. This is totally awesome and helps open up the player base to everyone even more. So I'm glad the big dicks were finally able to work something out for the gaming community and not just their wallets. One last thing regarding cross-play, and that is voice chat. Frozen Squall and I quickly realized that we were not able to utilize voice chat. Apparently, PC does not have PvE and game voice chat yet, but console does. So, um, if you're on PC and joining an Xbox player, the easiest thing to do is to boot up your Xbox app on Windows 10 and join the Xbox player's quote-unquote Xbox party chat. Not sure how PC and PS4 users communicate currently, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. The other alternative is third-party apps like Discord and, and Skype or whatever else people are using besides Discord. But let's be honest. Most console players are not sitting next to a computer um, to boot up Discord. So the lazy PC players that are like, just use Discord. I don't want to boot up Xbox app. Um, no, because then the console player is going to have to install it on their phone, plug earbuds into their ears, under their gaming. Come on. Come on. Just, just boot up the Xbox app. Um, it's way easier. Plus, if you plan on doing Sea of Thieves, 
coming up. That's a Play Anywhere title from Microsoft. And if you want to do cross-play, all you're going to have to do is go into your Xbox app, find your friend, click join, party chat's all there. It's all going to run through the Xbox app, just like Gears of War does, Halo Wars does. Any of the Microsoft titles that are Play Anywhere are going to run through the Xbox app. So just use it now if you're planning on, I mean, just do it. It's easier, but you can use Discord and other things. So, anyway, voice chat is really the only one extra hurdle, um, and it's not even required. Technically, PC players have a keyboard, so they can type super, super fast in the in-game chat window if needed. Uh, just so us console plebs can see the um, if they want to trade for, <laughs> for any high scars. <laughs> anyway, hope this helps out for those of you who have friends on different platforms and are, and are dying to play together. If we learn of a simple way to get Xbox and PS4 players together, I'll do a follow-up video for that as well. So until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye now.